Hi, welcome to Barney Tech Channel. Here we are going to see for the spam relay how to see the how to see relay fault record and how to do test trip. We see this all one by one. Mostly we consider this relay doesn't have the fault recording capability. But this relay have the limited capable of recording the fault recorder. We'll see how we can able to see this. After this group configuration, still when we press down, when we press go down, we can see one, two, three, four, up to nine items. This all is a recorded value during the abnormal condition or above the set point. We see this all one by one. Over the indication one, it is for our face current during this any abnormal or above the full load current if the motor goes above the full load current it will be recorded over here for indication 2 samely for y phase and indication 3 is for b phase for indication 4 is for earth fault for earth fault setting if we keep the value some point 2 if the value goes beyond the point 2 this value will be captured over here and fifth is for unbalanced current this also as we said the relay unbalanced current if it is go beyond the unbalanced current it will be captured for six is thermal stress produced on the relay how much thermal stress is produced on the relay we can able to see on sixth for seventh indication the thermal level of the motor present that means how much motor thermal level is right now because when we start the motor if the thermal level is reached above 80 or 90 and it if it is stopped then next start cannot be able to possible until it reach below the reset thermal value that is theta i so we don't know how much thermal value the relay will as presently so over here over the seventh point we can able to see the present thermal value on the relay which is helpful for us to know when we can able to restart the relay for eighth is actual unbalanced current value when the motor running during the running time we can go to this eighth point and we can see the actual metering value of the unbalanced current the ninth one is the time for reset enable ninth one is for to know how much time we need for this start enable to activate this is the time it will show the successful start between two start stop of the motor when we start stop of the motor for next start if it is having five second then the countdown will start here when it reaches the zero then only we can able to start the motor this all will be very useful at the time of operation and maintenance on the site next we will go for trip test this trip test this test to check the relay output contact for particular production which is tripping the breaker without using test kit which will ensure the hardware wiring for the relay to breaker also now we see how to trigger the trip test step by step after this group configuration still we go down this one two three up to zero item at zero need to press five second for the program button and zero will start to blink again need to press the program button for shorter time now the led on the production function will start to select now need to choose which production we need to do for trip test and when we selected the production and we need to press program and set or reset button at a time simultaneously when you trigger this the production trip will operate and the breaker will trip We came to the end of this section. See you on next video. If you like this section, then please share to your friends and colleagues. 
take care and bye from barney tech channel thank you for watching this video